This NDSU Egg Minute is featuring Sean Brotherson, Extension Family Science Specialist. And Sean, visit with me about the stress that producers are feeling right now. Harvest is a busy time, a time when it's a, a lot of energy, little sleep. Visit with me about best practices when it comes to taking care of yourself. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Um, you know, signs of concern related to stress can show up in different ways. Um, and it might be that you're not getting enough sleep, you're having um, appetite issues, you're having uh, tension or headaches, things like that. And the important thing to remember is that um, those things are like the check engine light on the dashboard of your vehicle. They suggest that you just need to slow down, um, get checked, and make sure that your health is a priority. So uh, the biggest thing that we encourage people to do is to make sure they have a, uh, a check with a healthcare provider, make sure their physical health and mental health is positive, and then they can um, pursue particular strategies to take care of themselves during harvest season. There are so many factors on a farm operation that are out of our control. Visit with me about some of the things that are within a producer's control. During harvest season, just the amount of labor that you're putting in, the long hours, uh, the need to to manage the ups and downs of um, a timeline where you have to get your crop in. Um, those stresses are, are, are increased during the rhythms of harvest season, and so you need to pay attention to that. Um, but at the same time, um, you also need to prioritize your health. Um, you mentioned that often in farming and ranching that factors are beyond your control, but actually um, taking steps to prioritize your health and do some self-care is very much within your control. It's one of the few things that you can focus on and particularly control every day. You can focus on getting good sleep, managing your diet, uh, taking time to um, care for your mental health, all of those things. And so focusing on your health is actually something that you can control and gives you something um, that is positive during times of elevated stress. Visit with me about maybe some recommendations or advice that you have for producers who are currently out in northwestern North Dakota, an extremely horrific situation out there. And I'm sure many producers are feeling just that emotional burden in how to deal with um, moving forward. Yeah, they're under uh, tremendous pressure because of um, threats to livelihood, threats to property due to the wildfires that have been out of control in western North Dakota. And um, But still the most important asset that they have uh, during this time is their health. Their health is what allows them to be resilient during times of significant stress. It's what allows them to be able to function every day. And because your health is your most important asset you have in being able to respond to stress, then it also needs to be your most important priority in terms of what you pay attention to every day. It'll It'll be the resource that allows you to respond um, to the different pressures and concerns that they're managing right now. And so make sure that um, in the midst of trying to protect your farm operation, your crop, your property, and those things, or your neighbors, that you're prioritizing your health and the health of the people that you're working with. You visited about resources. Visit with me about resources that are available for producer who's maybe listening out there. What's available to them? Where do they start? Where do they go? Um, a, a really good place to start in North Dakota is just calling the 211 helpline. It's administered by First Link, the nonprofit organization, and that can provide immediate crisis assistance, but it's also just a referral helpline to refer you to a wide range of resources in your local community or in your region. And so that's a really good place to start. Uh, you can find additional resources through uh, the North Dakota Department of Agriculture website. Um, you can find additional resources through um, our NDSU Farm Stress website. If you just Google NDSU and Farm Stress, we have a lot of resources on that web page. Um, those are all really good sources. If someone is looking for counseling, um, we partner with Together Counseling and are able to provide um, in-person or telehealth counseling at limited or no cost uh, to, to people in the agriculture community. They're a very good provider. So. Those are all some immediate sources that people can turn to. Was there anything I missed or anything else you'd like to add? No, just a reminder that um, the most important thing to do relative to your health is just take steps to uh, do a health checkup on a regular basis with your health care provider. 
make an appointment, see a healthcare provider, and uh, ask them to help assess both your physical well-being and your mental well-being, and then uh, take steps to focus every day on um, small things that you can do to improve your health. Take some time for exercise. Take some time to connect with a family member and talk. Uh, share your feelings. Uh, do those little things that are important to preserving your health today and for the long term. Once again, that is Sean Brotherson, Extension Family Science Specialist. I'm Farm and Ranch Director Sarah Heinrich.